Hello everybody and welcome to Cars at 100 and on today's review I'm at Excess Leasing as you can see this is a very nice and sharp looking 3 series those adaptive headlights are option and these are very good option indeed they look very sharp very nice as you can see here very nice design to them overall front looks very serious on this car The familiar key fob by BMW here unlock lock and trunk release and panic button here this car doesn't come with keyless entry so you have to unlock it manually and lock it manually so to enter it you unlock it and then you open the door and as you can see here it's a very good quality um, this is a BMW quality as you see right now in front of you and uh, it's a really good overall material quality as well in this car you have a soft touch materials on top of the door here uh, very good design plastic material here you have a very soft touch materials here uh, here uh, everything feels quality you have a rubber material in the back of the handle to close the door very good attention to detail very nice uh, door handle opener as well you have a automatic closing and opening of the uh, windows uh, I mean mirrors you have an automatic up and down for four corners of the car and you have here mirror controls as well you have a very good pockets for the uh, beverage and as well as some other pockets for other storage as well this is a soft touch material as well everything feels quality in this car you have a speaker housing here and here this is a Twitter and um, overall it's really nice quality everywhere this do these door seals are really nice as well they feel like they're gonna last a long time nothing to scratch here nothing shiny so that's really good very durable this is rubber material here uh, that's really really well designed car and as you can see these seats are not sports seats there is no bolstering on the lower section of the seat there is only bolstering a little bit bolstering on the top section of the seat so that should be enough to hold you in place on the corners and BMW doors you have to close hard because this is a German vehicle and um, everything is very precise in these cars um, everything is durable as well this is a, a base uh, steering wheel for 3 series but it's a very nice steering wheel indeed you have the controls here for the bluetooth of course on the right of the steering wheel you have the controls for the media on the left of the steering wheel as well here uh, very good design to the steering wheel uh, generally uh, there is no uh, 10 and 2 notches uh, because this is um, less sporty vehicle more like a luxury a commuter vehicle that uh, you know you would use every day and this is a very uh, good daily vehicle as well everything feels quality here there is no sensor touch sensor here for the infotainment because this is uh, the base infotainment system as you can see by the screen it's a smaller screen than compared to uh, the option that you can get for this car as well that will give you a bigger screen and better resolution as well as the touch controls uh, for the latest infotainment systems that BMW provides um, as well as uh, the speedometer and tag in front of you as you can see here you have a very good small display in the middle here of uh, and the speedometer and uh, it gives you information about the car there is a as you can see here the check tire pressure uh, system is on and this is the information screen um, this little display there shows you the information of a car and how many 
miles you have uh, in range and how many miles the car has been driven and the time and everything. In this small display, BMW incorporated uh, very well the options to show you uh, all the information about the car. You can see the numbers uh, of a speedometer here, uh, very well laid uh, in front of you. And when the car is at night, uh, these dials are gonna be in red color. So that's pretty sharp as well. Uh, that's really nice. In terms of the engine, BMW doesn't disappoint. This is a turbo uh, engine that gives you under 200 horsepower but you have a very good underrated power here so this car is quite uh, more powerful than 200 than less than 200 horsepower um, that is advertised by BMW so this car is really good in terms of the performance um, not unlike uh, its uh, uh, older um, I mean its bigger brothers uh, 330i or 340i and uh, also the biggest performer M3 uh, this car is a very good uh, beginner car the transmission is really nice um, is uh, one of the most comfortable uh, joysticks uh, for transmission shifts I have uh, experienced uh, and uh, it's really nice everything is easy to use you can just uh, go in the reverse and the rear view camera will turn on and the mirrors will go down to show you the curb that's really comfortable as well here you have a uh, drive mode and you have a sport and manual mode here if you go this way you are in a sport mode this is sport one but if you go into minus or plus the car goes into manual mode that will sh uh, give you the option to uh, manipulate gears yourself so that's uh, something that uh, will give you option to manually control your gears that's really good the climate control here on this car very nice displays for the climate control as well uh, you have many options here for the climate control and BMW is really nice in terms of the climate control uh, because um, the car really adjusts the climate control so when you brake on the traffic light the car will lower the fan so it doesn't intrude with you too much the storage here you have a very good both power world outlet here as well you have a storage here that you can close it you know that's for really storage nice. here as well this is a rubbery material so you can put something here it's not gonna slide around overall the quality is really nice in this car uh, also uh, what I notice here is the driver select button uh, so this driver select button is really comfortable this changes the car's behavior not just uh, in terms of the throttle but in terms of the economy and uh, comfort and how much you appreciate the car just just to drive it daily you know you can have this car in many different settings sport will of course make the throttle more sensitive uh, comfort will make the car more softer in terms of the its behavior uh, and eco pro will save you gas so this is the most efficient mode that this car has and uh, you can you can really see that this car tries to save gas even when you put it in eco pro the guy the the car doesn't rev that much but if you put it in a sport mode perhaps the car the car is more eager to rev the car doesn't hold back and you can rev all the way all the way to 6000 so that's really good in a comfort mode you get the almost same behavior but the car doesn't feel as sporty and in eco pro you can't rev that high the car limited is limited to the performance so that's really good for the efficiency the storage here as well this is a usb outlet here um, unfortunately only one usb outlet here 
that you can connect and charge your phone and you have a very small storage here as well uh, it's a rubbery type of material on top of the storage bin here as you can see right now I'm sitting in the back seat of this BMW 320i X drive and uh, very good comfortable feeling here uh, uh, you know I would say this much of uh, headroom this much of legroom um, this uh, seat is not all the way back but like this uh, you can put the steering wheel a little bit further up because it's you can uh, tilt and telescope the steering wheel and you can have more seating space here in this car this car is uh, not that small inside as it seems outside this is a very comfortable vehicle even though this is leather red material you can option this car with leather material and it's going to be even more comfortable here but throughout the uh, car you can see that uh, very well uh, designed and uh, incorporated uh, touch materials uh, soft touch materials here everywhere there is no compromise i like that this is a very durable plastic here, vents here for your rear passengers, you have up holders here, uh, like this, um, you can store, you have rubbery materials here on the cup holders, uh, you have a dome light here as well, you have a sunroof here as well, you have option here to control this. Uh, headrest, really nice. Uh, overall, I really like uh, so far this car and for the price that it is, it's a really nice car. The trunk space on this car is really spacious. As you can see here, it's a big trunk. In terms of the engine, this car has 2.0 liter engine with the turbo, 16 valves and Vanus valve system. You can expect this car to have 27 mile per gallon combined with 23 on, in the city and 20 and 34 and 34 on the highway and uh, overall very good german engineering here in this car okay i'm sitting behind the steering wheel of this uh, bmw 320i x drive this is 2018 car and i have a window sticker here so what does this car include except the base uh, price and base price on this car is $36,900 and uh, this includes, uh, this doesn't include uh, $550 of Glacier Silver metallic paint that you see outside uh, black sensor tech leather is included convenience package uh, which is $2250 uh, that is a uh, universal garage door opener, moonroof and power front seats that also include the standard instrument cluster, uh, 17 inch alloy wheels, all season tires, a Steptronic automatic transmission, heated steering wheel, round flat tires, rear view camera, uh, fine line anthracite wood trim, heated front seats, uh, rear center armrest, LED fog lights, LED headlights, automatic climate control, ambient lighting, hands-free Bluetooth and USB. This is all included except fine line anthracite wood trim that is $500 and heated front seats that is also $500 and a heated steering wheel is an option as well which is $190 so a very good option as well um, also you have here hands-free Bluetooth and USB this is included of course refrigerant uh, is also included floor liners is uh, something uh, also paint protection film level 1 $225 is included with this car this car is under $43,000 at $42,355 and that's really good for this type of car you can expect to have a very good performance not very good but good performance for the daily use and you have 27 mile per gallon combined because of that since you don't have a powerful engine here you have a very efficient vehicle compared to the other BMWs in the lineup so that's really good as well um, overall very nice car and this car was built 
in terms of the assembly in Roslyn, South Africa. And engine is of course German and transmission is of course Germany as well. So engine and transmission is from Germany. Uh, but in terms of the parts content, uh, this car has US and Canadian parts content at 5% and major source of foreign parts content, Germany, 60%. So mostly this car is German, even though it's built in South Africa. I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2018 BMW 320i xDrive. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm gonna leave the information about the company that this car was provided from in the description box and i'll see you next time guys stay loving cars